When Kenya celebrated the inauguration of a new constitution, Kenyans acquired the right to equitable distribution of resources all over the country. The catalyst for this course would be devolution. Far west along the Kenya-Uganda border, strategically between the Nzoya River and Mount Elgin, and a distance of 380 kilometers from Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is the famous Kenya food basket county, Transoya. At its center is the town of Kitale, which is the county's capital and largest town. The county borders Bungoma to the west, Yuasingishu and Kakamega to the south, Elgeo Marakwet to the east, West Pokot to the north, and the Republic of Uganda to the northwest, and covers an area of 2,495.5 square kilometers. Since the inception and commencement of devolved government structures, the county has witnessed massive transformation to fundamental infrastructural settings and life-changing experiences. The once poverty-stricken county is now lively and full of hope. Devolution has come down and people on the ground are really working. First, infrastructures. They have been improved as before, as compared to before devolution had started. Human resource development has also increased because most of these people are just trained within the county. Equipment supply. Most of the facilities now of healthcare have procured equipment for, for the purpose of uh, testing and treating the patients. Therefore, this has come as a result of devolution. In the span of the first five years of devolution, the county prides itself in pioneering and establishing transformative initiatives for its people. Under the leadership of Governor Patrick Hayemba, Transoya County has established a solid foundation to catapult its people to social and economic success. I think devolution, in my opinion, is the best thing that ever happened to this country by bringing decision-making and some resources closer to the people. When we came into the office in 2013, we found a very bad state of agriculture. Being a food basket, you would be surprised that uh, poverty levels were at 52%, food insecurity was at 60%. The productivity of maize had declined from an average of 30 bucks per acre to an average of 14 bucks per acre which was below the production cost. For you to break even, you need 17 bags of maize. What did we do? Our main focus at that time was to rejuvenate agriculture so that uh, the incomes of the people could improve. We quickly put a team in place and they did a survey and they found out that all our soils in Transoya are very acidic. Governor Hayamba's desire for development and passion to realize the dreams of the people to prosper, live in abundance, peace and unity has made him a darling of the residents, earning him a second term in the 2017 elections. Since the onset of devolution five years ago, counties hold public dialogues to interact and listen to citizens' concerns. Culminating in this year's annual devolution conference is the marking of five years since the second conception of devolved governance in the Republic. But they were led by Bishop Wanyonyi and the representative of the board is Member Masaviru. Thank you very much, Member Masaviru for coming for this meeting. Transoya County has received overwhelming accolades for the success in its strategies and the distance covered so far. Wakati tumekuwa tumeingia katika serikali ya ukatusi, tumejengewa sahanati katika wodi yetu ya Chepchoina. Tuko na Twika Center, tuko na Kayos, tuko na Nabeki. I think devolution has really been a, a very uh, exciting experience for Kenyans. And uh, if I have to be very honest, we've seen uh, Kenya transform to a different uh, nation altogether. Ukitaka maswala ya mashamba, kama kuna mzozo wa mashamba, kuna ile kitengo ambacho kiko, ambapo wanainchu wanaeza kuenda waonge kuhusu mzozo wa mashamba. Ukitaka maswala ya jinsia, labda umama wawekwe katika nafasi mbalimbali, 
kuna hiyo kitengo. Nataka kusema tu Transoya County imeweka masuala ya kina mama ama jinsia ya kipa cha umbele. Ugatuzi umefanya kazi. Na sisi wananchi hapa mashinani tumedhibitisha kwamba ugatuzi uko sawa, wanafanya kazi, sile pesa zinakuja tunahakisha zinafanya kazi, tumeona kazi ambayo imefanya. Kwa hivyo hatuoni sababu wasiongezewe pesa. Pesa sikuje kwa county kwa wingi kwa sababu hii pesa inafikia mwananchi moja kwa moja. Major success is recorded is the milestones covered in the agricultural sector. The county worked to ensure the area retains its spot as a backbone of Kenya's food security. To achieve this, massive plans to increase farm productivity, access to markets and crop diversification activities were activated. The impact on a program of diversification introduce coffee which does very well. Right now we have over 2,000 acres under coffee from a subsidized program of the county. And uh, also we have introduced avocado. There's a farmer who intends to put a factor up here. We have uh, tissue culture bananas. At that time, bananas used to come from as far as Kirinyaga and uh, Uganda and Kisi for our needs here. But now we are producing enough and we think in a year or two, we should be in position to export. When he started, uh, His Excellency the Governor told us to try and address uh, the issue of low productivity, both for livestock and agriculture. And uh, the first thing we did was to do soils testing and mapping in the county, where we, of course we discovered that the uh, soils were very acidic and that's why they were not able to support production. Production had come to below 15 bags per acre. And this is an area where the potential yield can go even up to 40, 50 bucks per acre. Significantly, over 225 million shillings was invested in providing subsidized fertilizer after soil sampling and testing. This has seen yields increase from an average 15 to 25 bags per acre over a period of four years. <laughs> The fertilizers that we have in the market, and, as, and more so in the National Cereals and Produce Board, they have been having two nutrients. If you look at DAP, NPK, most of them are just nitrogen and phosphorus. And from the soil, soil sampling that we did, we realized that our soils were lacking up to 10 nutrients that are needed for the plants. The potassium, calcium, sulfur, magnesium, zinc, boron, which lack in these other fertilizers that we have been having uh, traditionally like in the National Series and Produce Board. So this fertilizer that we have now under the county program takes care of acidity and it also takes care of the nutrients that have been de depleted from the soils. And it's actually a special blend for Transoya. It's even branded Transoya County. Uh, before that, we were growing everything and using any type of fertilizer. But the soil sampling, they actually, they actually established the pH level of our soils, meaning they reformulated they got people to reformulate fertilizers that were re sensitive to the pH of our soil. And from that point, we have grown a variety of crops, but they have done well because of lime. Lime changed the pH. In agricultural mechanization, the county has purchased modern agricultural machinery, which are available to all farmers. Residents affirm to the cause and mission by the county as fruitful and fulfilling. Uh, so we've embarked on a program that will revolutionize the way we do agriculture here. We moved into conservation agriculture. This is where you have very little tillage and you use spraying. The tillage helps to break the hard pan and therefore when it rains a lot of water is absorbed. Then the trash that is left on the farm, it creates the environment where microorganisms also come back to our soils. That will increase productivity and cut down the cost. I've bought some equipment. We're doing demonstrations across uh, the county. The Lipo Quartz on the Lima, Pindua Muchanga, the Quartz on the Mia Caribo, Elef Saba Mianani. Operation Two Pekayake. Elf Saba, Mianane. Lakini Sahizi, Sit Natumia Kama Elefu Elefu in a Miatano, Kufanya y operation Yote Kupalilia, Hatupalili, Kitutu Nikwama Kutopres, Takuya Kutopres.
To better livestock production, the county has introduced improved artificial insemination services to farmers, rehabilitated cattle dips and rolled out an ambitious poultry farming project that has seen more than 30,000 chicks of improved indigenous chicken issued out. So we also embarked on our AI subsidy program where now we availed the farmers subsidized AI uh, so that they could be able to buy it at almost half the price that they were buying, buying it at. And we also invested in uh, AI service providers, one per sub-county, who are equipped with, a, with an AI kit. We, give them, we, we are giving them liquid nitrogen and also the, the cement, both the local and imported cement. During the county's foundation years, the health sector was given priority. What will be the biggest referral hospital in the region is now 90% complete. The ambitious project will have modern healthcare facilities and a bed capacity of 350. It's our biggest achievement in this county and we are very proud of it because it's now 90% done. You look at uh, the mortuary, we have now a new modern mortuary that will take about 96 bodies. Theatres, I talked of three in the whole county. We are now going to have six new uh, modern uh, theatres. ICU, we've never had a, an ICU bed here. We're going to have 16 ICU beds in this new facility. The county has also employed 466 health workers and renovated hospitals in every sub-county, in addition to installing backup power generators and opening up training facilities to equip residents with medical skills. We've opened a new health, uh, 30 new health facilities across the county at the health center and the dispensary level. We're renovating sub-county hospitals. We want to make them full sub-county hospitals where they have, can admit patients, they can operate them there, and they offer all types of services at that level. The county government has made sure that we are doing our dialysis, we are doing everything, all the equipments that were brought to us by the national government right now are able to operate because we have built up our power and uh, it is just a, a perfect thing. The staffing was bad. Right now, on the, I, can say, I can just give two examples. We had only 11 doctors in the whole county. Today, as I speak, we have 93. Employed by the county government, paid by the county government, and I really appreciate that. On the, even, nurse, even nurses, we had about 400 nurses. Right now, we are talking about getting to 600 and above. In the next phase of devolution, the county has rolled out a plan to operationalize the Transoya Teaching and Referral Hospital, increase the procurement of pharmaceuticals and non-pharmaceuticals to 300 million shillings annually, establish a county-owned medical training school, automate health management systems, and hire more health personnel to the benefit of its citizens. The referral hospital, we people are dying to see it. We are hoping that very soon, before the year ends, our governor, with the way he's putting a lot of energy in, in health, I know that by the end of the year we are going to open that facility and it's going to be a perfect facility. I'm sure pregnant women, be prepared, you're going to get the best maternity wing. I feel like giving birth in the next one year so that I can go to that because I've already seen what is going to, to happen. Transoya County residents and investors enjoy a reliable road and transport infrastructure. During its maiden years, the county purchased assorted road construction equipment, enabling the construction of 1,700 kilometers of county roads in all the 25 wards. An ultra-modern public transport terminus with capacity to host 210 matatus and eight buses has been built. Other infrastructural developments include lighting up of the county, construction of a modern market for traders in Kitale town, making Boda Boda shades and construction and equipping a fire station. We have constructed six uh, big markets, two medium markets and over 20 small markets. These are mainly uh, fresh produce markets. We have uh, a bus park coming up and next to the bus park we have uh, a modern uh, retail business which we are constructing. It will be about uh, four stories and it will accommodate about 4,000 uh, traders. This will give an opportunity to small uh, and medium traders to do business in town and the congest 
the town at the same time. The county values land as a fundamental development catalyst. Its efforts have enabled the issuance of over 5,000 land title deeds and the processing of 88,000 others waiting to be issued. We have achieved the titling program. We have been able to issue about 5,000 titles to the Wanaingi of Transoya County. And to us, that's a great achievement because that title is able to help Wanaingi to secure a loan from the bank and it will actually transform their economic status. Further, the county has acquired land for the expansion and construction of markets, establishment of dispensaries and opening of new roads. This initiative intends to attract more trade and better business facilitation. We have partnered with the um, private partners and brought on board a program called Symbio City around Kiminini. That program is going to change the face of Kiminini in a way that it will bring up proper planning of the, the town and also is going to increase the the, the acreage of Kiminini and from that we are going to use it as a benchmark for other towns because once Kiminini grows then we'll use that as a way to decongest Kitale and move over to other um, towns in, in Transoya County so that uh, we are able to develop um, sub-county towns. In terms of civic education, those who assist us to disseminate the devolution processes. Recently, the county went out to seek its citizens' approval of its work. Led by His Excellency, the Governor, they patiently listened as residents expressed their gratitude and freely highlighted their concerns. Walisema, money should follow functions. To repair functions, but nobody calculated what those functions cost. Wanainji are very, very passionate about what they need for themselves. Their master, the county government, reiterates its commitment as anchored in its slogan, Unity in Diversity, and propelled by the governor's Kazi Kwampango philosophy to continue putting the public interest first and endeavors to be of service to them.